are lipoic acid versus alpha lipoic acid. What's the difference? And which one gives you the most benefits for your brain, energy, or blood sugar? Alpha lipoic acid, or ALA, is a powerful antioxidant. It's sold as a supplement for energy, blood sugar, and nerve health. But here's the catch. Most ALA supplements are made in a lab and come as a mix of two forms. The R form, which is the natural version your body uses, and the S form, which is synthetic and much less effective. This mix is called a racemic blend, and it's what you'll find in most bottles labelled alpha lipoic acid. So while ALA can be helpful, it's only half natural and half filler. R lipoic acid, or RLA, is the purified version of just the R form, the form your body produces and recognises. It's more bioavailable, more stable and far more effective at lower doses. Some studies say it's up to 10 times more powerful than synthetic ALA. So which one should you take? Use ALA if you're looking for general antioxidant support or are on a budget. It's effective, just not as efficient. Use RLA for specific issues like peripheral neuropathy, blood sugar regulation, age-related oxidative stress, or if you're over 40 and want better cellular support. Typical ALA dose? Around 300 to 600 milligrams daily. RLA, you often only need 100 to 200 milligrams because it's that much stronger, but always check with your healthcare provider first, especially if you take diabetes meds. Now you know the key difference between RLA and ALA. Comment below if you've tried either or both, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more smart supplement breakdowns. See you next time.